4.30 in the morning, somebody's knocking at the door, my room, where we are staying. And I thought I was used to people coming in, either my security people or others bringing more times than not bad news, bad telling news me stuff. something wrong has happened, so I've got to wake up and attend to it. So when I opened the door, I found my son he had moved from his room and was the one knocking. And uh, so when I opened, found him standing there and uh, so I asked, Daddy, where have you been? And uh, I didn't take much time trying to explain, you know, I've been doing this, maybe he wouldn't understand some of it. And, um, well, I'm used to situations where <coughs> uh, my tears flow inwards, not outwards. Uh, so, <laughs> so I was trying to understand what was going on. And so I promised uh, my son, he said, I've been around, but I've been up and down. That's why I haven't seen you. But from that time, I made a decision. Whenever I would be around, uh, in the capital where I was living. Whatever I would be doing, because I first asked the mother, I said, what time do they actually go to bed? I even didn't know. She, she told me the boy goes to bed maybe between 8 and 8.30. So I made a promise to myself that every time, if I'm around, not traveling outside or wherever, at eight, I will have to leave the, everything else I'm doing and come home, see this boy before he goes to sleep, and then go back to whatever I was doing. So this, I'm, 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 I've spent time on this to try and say, there has to be a balance. It, has, it can't be one or the other, or one at the expense of the other, we have to find a combination that works for for us as leaders or for families or friends.